Hey, what up, though? So, now I'm crocheting. Um, this video's book is called The Messenger. It is the third book from the Giver series. And by now, I have figured out that the series, like, the series isn't, like, like, they're not companion books. I wouldn't call them companion books, like, the, just saying that they all take place in the same universe. I think there is, all of the books follow the same timeline, and the fourth book is going to be in the next round, and um, I think there might be a movie. I don't know if I'm going to watch the movie. I don't know how I feel about that. So, because I'm very judgmental when it comes to movie adaptations of books, especially when they're bad. Anyway, uh, it's the third book in the Giver Quartet, and its genres are YA fiction and dystopian fiction. And it also appears to be the shortest of the four. Um, I think Sun, the next one, might be the longest of the four. Uh, Google has the wrong page number because I have a physical copy of the book and it's 187. Uh, the characters are the same from Gathering Blue, except now uh, Matt is like a, an adult. He's also the main character. It's six years after Gathering Blue's events. I need a bobby pin. My, I've been braiding my hair, but it's like, it's kind of not going very well. So I need to get some bobby pins. Anyway, so Maddie lives in a village of people where all of their flaws are like accepted things. Like if you remember in the last book, the village that Maddie came from with, uh, with Kira, the village that, that he came from with her, flaws weren't very accepted there and like she has a lame leg and when her mom died everybody wanted to get rid of her and um yeah so she still lives there but he now lives in the village and like there's a forest between the two villages and maddie's really good at traveling the forest he also has a pupper still uh he got a new pupper because his last pupper died which is really sad but he got a new pupper so it's fine um, he lives with Kira's dad, who was called the Seer, and I guess that's supposed to be literal, and, like, he can see things. I didn't really take him for a Seer very much in this book, but, yeah, I don't know why the light does that. It's so weird. It seems to do it, like, based on where I am. Cameras are weird. Um, so, uh, the forest also is a capital F forest. Like, the forest is alive. It's kind of creepy. Uh, he is the messenger, like, everybody in this place, like, eventually, like, once they're adults, they, like, lose their names, and they become whatever their job is, and because Maddie can travel between, like, villages really easily, it's very likely that he's going to become the messenger, which is cool. Uh, the teacher is called Minter, and the forest has killed somebody, and the reason that they know it was the forest is because he went into the forest and never made it to the other village, so that's fun. Um, Gatherer, he got killed. And, uh, the forest also has been giving people warnings, but Gatherer just ignored them, I suppose. He must have missed them. Um, the only person who the forest hasn't warned is Maddie. He's the only one who's able to travel between the villages. And it's never explained why. He just can. Because, like, there's a moment where it gets harder for him, but he's still able to get through. It's never explained why Maddie can't why Maddie can uh, get through the forest and other people can't. Um, there's a museum in this village and it's got the things that people carried with them when they first arrived there. And the reason that I know that um, the first kid is either Jonah or the baby that Jonah was had with him is because there's a red sleigh. And if you remember in the first book, The Giver, uh, the... He's like he's he was given the memory of a red sleigh the first time by the giver. So um, yeah, which brings up a really good question: Does he remember all of that, or like, because the it said at the end of the book that the memories faded the further away he got from the village, and like, what happened to that town? Is that the town where Kira lives now? Because like, there's an event that happened. Uh, for Kira's village, and that's like in the last book what she and the others were commemorating. But I have no idea. <laughs> um, Maddie's also able to heal people. Um, that's never explained. Like, there's a level of magic going on in this book, but it's not classified as, like, fantasy. It's classified as YA. And um, this is also proof to me that all YA is not garbage, and that's why I won't immediately throw YA in the trash, because, like, 
There are some books later on. Oh, man. Um, anyway, the village also is changing. People aren't as polite anymore, and there are secrets arising, and they want to build a wall around the village um, to try and uh, keep, keep um, foreigners out. I would say that, you know... The current president of the United States read this book, but we all know that he doesn't read. Anyway, um, mentor is also different. Mentor doesn't want to... No, wait, sorry. Other way around. Mentor was, like, really, really nice, but then, like, he started to become an asshole, even to Maddie, and it's like, but why? And uh, the trade market is a really weird place. It used to be, like, literally just that, a trade market, but then, like, this dude showed up, He's like, uh, um, he's some sort of traitor. I don't think that's his actual title, but, uh, yeah. And they like, I don't know what really happened at the for at the place because it seemed like they were trading their kids health for like material wealth. So that's a thing. And I think the point of this book is supposed to be that like material wealth is a really bad thing. And, um, Yeah. Uh, the seer wants Maddie to go get Kira before they build the wall because, you know, he wants it because if they build the wall, then he's never going to see his daughter ever again. But the forest is really dangerous now and um, it's thickening. And uh, yeah, so he's able to go get her and um, somehow he's able to heal the forest and everything is cool. Um, so I don't. I wasn't entirely sure if leader if the his name the his name is leader. I wasn't entirely sure if it was Jonah because he says he's from a different village, and um, I'm not entirely sure. I still don't really understand leader's gifts, but whatever I suppose. And um, like it's all all of this rings fantasy to me. But I mean, I imagine that the way Google classifies things is based on either what people say or what the author says. And if the author says that it's not fantasy, then I guess I just have to abide by that. I don't know. Um, I guess fiction is kind of just an umbrella term for all of that. And what the specifics are doesn't really matter. But still, I would like it to be just a little bit explained because it's kind of irritating me. Um, Also, when he fixes the forest, he fixes... The village. They don't really say what was wrong with the village or the forest. I think it was just supposed to be implied that material wealth in general was the problem. Um, so, you know, message. You can't write a dystopia without having some sort of, like, message about the flaws of whatever system led to the dystopia. So, it was very clearly anti-capitalist. Um, so... Uh, the book ends also very sweetly, and I still don't understand why Kira didn't have a bigger reaction to her father being alive, but I guess, I don't know. Um, also, I don't really understand why she just goes with them, because, like, isn't, isn't she supposed to stay in that place because, like, she can make the threads, like, really pretty and shit like that? The woodcarver, Thomas, he's also married, but that's besides the point. Um, we don't find out what happened to the little girl. I don't remember what her name was. But, like, why why doesn't she have a bigger reaction to the fact that her father was alive and that the village, her village, her home, is probably the reason why he was killed? I, or why they tried to kill him. I just, I don't understand that, you know? Anyway, um, yeah. I'm not excited about the next book, but I suppose I should probably tell you where on the list this book goes, so I will open that. Um, why are you doing this to me? And uh, I gotta move the camera real quick. That's interesting. My Wi-Fi is out. Empty ways. It goes in the on the top of like the good books list of the books that I think are good. It goes right underneath Ebony Rising. Like they're right underneath each other. So that's cool. Um The next book I'm not super excited about. It's 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 Oh lord. Um <laughs>